Across the world, pets are an important part of our lives. The most common pets are cats and dogs, but many people prefer something more exotic, like a primate. The RSPCA estimates that there are currently around 5,000 primates kept as pets in the UK. Marmosets, capuchins, squirrel monkeys, macaques, and lemurs are the most popular primate species kept. There is growing concern about the suitability of keeping primates as pets, with many NGOs, zoos, and primatologists speaking out against this practice. They're about as unsuitable as animals get to keep as pets. As you can see with these groups here, they're actually very, very sociable. To keep a single animal on its own is, is probably tantamount to torture to the animal. To keep something as intelligent as a capuchin monkey uh, occupied, uh, with the correct diet and, and its daily routine is, is uh, you know, it has to be so varied that uh, it's, it's virtually impossible as a pet. Just from the human point of view, they're wild animals um, and they're very dangerous. Uh, they start out as very sweet, cuddly little creatures as any baby does and when they grow up their teeth grow with them and their muscles grow with them and they become very dangerous to their owners. Um, and Aside from that, for us, probably the most important thing are the welfare issues. One particular case that highlights the welfare concerns of keeping primates is Joey. Joey was, is a very sad case, really. Joey was taken from the wild when he was a baby. He was taken from Suriname. Um, for the next five years, he spent his life in a six foot by two foot by four foot cage. He had the equivalent of, I suppose, OCD. Um, he rocked obsessively um, to the extent where his hip sockets no longer fit with his legs um, and so he's got them sort of permanently dislocated. He now lives with another monkey called Kodak. They're best of friends and he doesn't realise that there's anything different about him. He's an absolute miracle. Dr Ross Club of the RSPCA explains just how easy it is to acquire a primate in the UK. Some species are listed as dangerous wild animals and so they would need a licence to keep them from their local authority. But the most commonly kept um, pet species don't need anything. So you can walk down to your local pet shop if they keep them, go on the internet answer a classified ad and pop down and pick up your primate with no one knowing and no one knowing if you know actually how to look after that animal. The legal protection for pet primates in the UK lags well behind that of many countries which already ban the keeping of pet primates. DEFRA recently published a new code of practice on the welfare of privately kept non-human primates. It provides owners in England with guidance on how to meet the welfare needs of their primates as required under the Animal Welfare Act. The code includes information on appropriate enclosures, veterinary care, a suitable diet and environmental enrichment. It also stipulates that most primates should be kept in stable groups to allow the full expression of natural behaviours. And the code of practice doesn't restrict who can keep them. There's no checks to see if they're keeping them according to the code. What it can be used um, for is in the courts. If someone was taken to court, we could um, use that to see if they were actually meeting the conditions in that. But in the meantime, we still don't know who's keeping them, where they are, and there's no restriction on who can buy them. And that's what we really want, so that we can stop the welfare problems happening in the first instance. The codes emphasise that as wild animals, primates are not a species that can be treated as part of the family in the way a dog or cat might be. Many NGOs believe that although the codes are a step in the right direction, a total ban on keeping primates as pets is still needed. This is Rosalie Silva reporting for The World Tonight.